What we've been doing is developing what we call population healthcare. That's healthcare that focuses on populations, not primary care, secondary care, or hospitals, or acute, or community, or these other terms, but populations. People with a common symptom, for example, headache, or dizziness, or women with pelvic pain. People with a condition, children with, with epilepsy, for example, people with breast cancer, or people with a common characteristic and common need, single homeless people, or people with multiple conditions, or people in the last year of life. So this is the approach, it's taking public health principles and applying them to hospitals and hospital services, and indeed all the groups in a population, including, including the public themselves, the people who are served. So what we'd like to do is for the local, let's call it the local health economy, and it doesn't always match perfectly to the political boundary of a county or a city, but the people in a community getting together and saying, all right, we can campaign for more money, but let's look at the money we're spending. Are we getting optimal value from it? And what we did was we published atmospheres of variation and produced commissioning for value packs to make people think, make people think. I don't know what the right level of MRI is or the right level of antidepressant prescribing. It might be different in one place than another, but local people have to think and prioritise. And that's the mission of the Right Care Programme.